90% of people have the same complaint that no Android emulator works for them. And even if it does, they experience lag and free fire. So therefore, in today's video, I will provide you with a brand new Android OS, in which I will test both Free Fire and PUBG Mobile for you. Although this Android OS is not too heavy, and if we talk about its system requirements, you should have at least 2 to 4 GB of RAM, and along with, you need an integrated graphics card as well. And as for the processor, you need a dual core processor. So, you all know the system requirements, and now let's move to the PC screen and understand this whole process practically. Let's roll. First of all, you need to download all these files. And you can easily download them from my website, but if you don't know how to download, I have provided a video link in the description that you can check out. First, you need to install Disk Genius. Its installation is also very simple. You just need to extract the zip file. Then you'll see a folder that you need to open. Here, you'll see two files. One is the setup file, and the other is the fix file. First, you need to launch the setup file, and then install just like you install any normal software. Once the installation is complete, you need to go back to the same folder and copy these two files. Now, if your PC is based on 32-bit architecture, select the 32-bit files. And if it's 64-bit, then select the 64-bit files. Since my PC is 32-bit, so I will copy these two files. After this, open Disk Genius's main directory on one side and paste these two files here. And if it asks to replace, go ahead and do it. Now, simply launch it. After launching Disk Genius, you need to select any partition that has at least 10 GB of space and is completely empty. Now, right-click on it and choose the format option. Next, select EXT4 in the partition system and leave the volume label empty. Now click on the following button and the partition you selected will be formatted within a few seconds. In the next step, you need to extract the main zip file since its size is around 800 MB. So extracting it will take some time. One hour later. Once the extraction is complete, a folder will appear which you need to drag and drop into it. This completes our work with Disk Genius. So I will close it now and will proceed to install Grub 2 Win. If Grub is already installed on your system, you can skip this part. But if not, then follow the next step. First, extract the zip file. And since its size is 19 MB, it will extract quite easily. Now, go to the extracted folder and launch the setup file to install it. Next, go to the Manage Boot menu and choose the Add New Entry option. Now, you need to select the submenu from the drop-down and then type Android OS in the title section. After that, click on Edit Custom Code and open the Grub code that you downloaded. Copy all the text that you see there and paste it into the following Grub code. Then, save this text file and click the OK button. With this, all our tasks are now complete and I will restart the PC and record the remaining process with a hand camera. When your PC restarts, you will reach the boot menu, where you can choose to boot into your previous windows. But right now, I want to run Android OS, so I will select Grub2 for Windows. Next, select the entry you created earlier. Then you will see several kernels appear in front of you, and you need to choose the first kernel. However, when you use Android OS again, you can change it, but for the first boot, you need to select the first kernel. If you encounter any Wi-Fi related problems, you can easily fix them by changing the kernel, which should solve your issue. Now, I've reached the setup page, so I'll quickly set it up. As you can see, Atom OS has been successfully installed. This Android OS is also based on Phoenix OS as usual, and you will see Android version 7 in it. It also provides full support for key mapping, and you will find some additional features here as well. Now, we need to make some more settings, and these settings are compulsory. Whether you have a low-end PC or a high-end one, you will experience lag if you don't make these settings. So first, you need to open L-Speed, and you have to do exactly what I'm doing here. Otherwise, if you don't, you will ultimately experience lag.
Now, I'll set everything up here, and next, we'll talk about game installation. To install a game, you can directly download it from the Play Store, or you can place the APK file in any of your local disks. Then, use FX Explorer to easily access the disk. Although the first method is safe, but it's quite time-consuming because you'll need to create a Google account. That's why I will use the second method. And for this, I have already downloaded the apps for both Free Fire and PUBG. If you need their links, I can provide them to you. And since these are direct apps, you won't need the OBB file either. So, the game has been installed. Let's go ahead and launch it. Now, I've reached the login screen. And for now, I'll log in with a guest account. But you can log in using Facebook or Google if you prefer. Now let's start a match, and I'll show you by playing a team deathmatch because it has more players, and due to the higher number of players, the game often lags a lot. But here, you can see how well the game is working, and I am getting around 25 to 30 FPS. Despite my PC having only 2 GB of RAM and no graphics card, it is still working perfectly. Besides this, I tried installing PUBG Mobile on this OS, but unfortunately, due to it being Android 7, the game didn't install, I also tried some other games on this OS, and they all worked quite well. Overall, this Android OS is pretty good, and you should definitely give it a try. However, if you want to try PUBG, I would not recommend this OS to you because it is not good for it. Furthermore, I have also made videos on many other Android OS versions, which you can watch by clicking on the playlist on the left, and this way, you and I will meet again.